Hi, my name's Dwayne. Chances are if you're watching this video, you have a dash that's either cracked or weathered. I'm here today with the 99 Dodge Ram. For whatever reason that your dash might be cracked, it may be because of the heat, it may be because of the manufacturer, the type of plastic that they used. But at any rate, uh, a lot of us end up with these dashes that are cracked after five or six years of, of use. And so the solution is, is a dash cap. It's a, uh, in this case, this is an AccuForm dash cap. You want to be very careful when you're purchasing your dash cap to make sure that it's a, an AccuForm dash cap, that uh, they make their dash caps out of a hybrid high temp ABS plastic that's not going to cause problems uh, when it comes to heat. They don't warp and you're not going to have the, the cracking that you could experience with some other brands. As you will see in the case of the Dodge Ram, the dash is perfectly molded to your existing factory dash. Um, it has the same texture and this one is actually painted to match, uh, color matched to the same interior color as uh, the factory color that it originally came with. The supplies you're going to need to install this dash today, pretty simple. It comes with the glue the uh, silicone that you're going to need to glue this dash down. Other, some, some other things that you're going to need is a roll of tape, just some masking tape. Try to get something that's, that's not the cheap kind that has a little bit of stretch to it. In this case we're using 3M. You'll need some rags. You'll want some rubbing alcohol. Uh, in case your dash has some pieces that are loose, they might rattle uh, underneath this dash cap. You'll want to glue those together. In this case, the Dodge they used ABS plastic when they built their dashes. So in this case, I'm going to use some ABS cement, which is actually a really good glue to use for the Dodge truck in particular. And then obviously the, the uh, silicone that comes with the dash. And then I've cut some pieces of cardboard. And later on, you'll see how handy these come in when installing this dash. And of course, you don't want to forget sandpaper. You're going to want to get anywhere from 180 grit to 200 and 20 grit sandpaper. You want to sand the edges of the dash cap, the vent hole covers, or the vent holes. You're going to want to sand the uh, edges of the dash inside the truck before you apply the silicone. That way it has something to adhere to. AccuForm was the original creator of the dash cap over 30 years ago. AccuForm is the only company right now who has perfected the recipe to where we have a true high temp hybrid ABS plastic that will withstand the heat and uh, you won't have the cracks or any other issues over time. The first thing we're going to want to do is do a pre-fit of this, of this dash. Just want to make sure that uh, there's not going to be any issues with it. Um, you're going to have to pull this bezel back. Check the lines, make sure that it's going to seat correctly. Looks like everything's fitting up about where it needs to. So from there we're going to go to prepping the dash and also prepping the dash cap to go onto the truck. Now when you apply your silicone, you're going to want to apply it around the edges of the dash. That allows for it to expand and contract. You don't want to get it in the middle, in the center of the dash, you wouldn't be on the, uh, around the edges around the vent holes so that uh, all, the, all the ends are staying down. And in order to apply that silicone and have it stick, we've got the rubbing alcohol. You're going to use the rag. Get some on your rag and you're just going to wipe down the edges. The main thing this is doing is getting rid, rid of all the uh, oils and grease that your dash collects when people put armor all and certain protectants on there and just overall it's going to give it a clean surface for that silicone to adhere to. It's important to clean around the edges of all the vents because that's where you're also going to apply the glue, the silicone. Now that we've cleaned the edges of the dash of any grease or any type of oils so that this silicone will stick, it's time to apply the silicone to the back of the dash. Sometimes if it's a colder day, the glue is, is harder to apply. You want to put this in a pot of hot water or somehow figure out a way to just warm it up so that it applies it's, so it flows a little better. Once again, we cleaned around the edges of the vents and mainly because we're going to be applying a glue there.
Now that we've got the dash in place, we're going to want to secure it down all the edges. The best way to do this is to slide some pieces of cardboard. You might need two or three pieces in some areas. In order to get your masking tape to stick in a lot of the areas, you're going to find you're going to need this uh, rubbing alcohol in a lot more areas than where you apply the glue. Because people like to put armor on the dash, it's really oily and that, that uh, tape's not going to stick. And so we want to make sure we get rid of all of the oil and anything that's going to stop, prevent that tape from sticking. That way when we apply the tape on the dash, it's going to stick and hold it right in place. Strobing alcohol is also going to be um, helpful with the uh, silicone that's coming out of the edges. It'll help clean that off. Give it about eight hours to dry, and then we'll pull off that tape, and it'll look like a brand new dash. Accuform also manufactures this uh, bezel cap that fits over the uh, top of the, the bezel. It installs the same way. Clean the edges with the uh, rubbing alcohol, apply the glue to the back side around the edges, and tape it down just like we've done the dash. Whatever car it is you may have, uh, there's a lot of cars out there with cracked dashes. Accuform makes uh, over 1,500 different uh, makes and models of dash caps for cars out there that, that are having this cracked dash problem. To find out if there's a dash cap out there that Accuform makes that will fit your make and model, visit our website at AccuformInc.com and there you can see a list of our distributors. Thank you.